Welcome Conference USA fans, I'm Nicole Cartier and this is Hyphen Nation, connecting you to CUSA this week. Now we are in the middle of the fall championship season and as the women's soccer championships are underway right now, let's first recap cross country championships that completed on Monday. It really feels good because I've been really wishing to win one time. I really am free. I'm really happy to be the champion of 2011 Conference USA Championships. Big win for us. I mean, it's something we didn't take for granted. We'd won last year and we were trying to get a streak going, but we had seen UTEP run at pre nats and I think they uh, have really improved, and I think we're definitely looking at them. But we, we also, there's some teams that ran really good earlier in the year. Rice ran real good at uh, Texas, and I think Houston. There were some teams that we didn't know really to isolate on one team or another, but uh, we wanted to pack up front and try to do the best job we could. Now, it's fun to be uh, back. Uh, last semester I didn't. I was retired, so I didn't run that conference championship. But it was it was a good feeling to win, and uh, I had good competition from Hi, UTEP. So it was it was a hard race, so it felt extra good to win it. We couldn't be more proud of these this uh, group of girls. We, this was our goal all year, and um, we talked about it every day from the first day of practice. And um, they practiced so hard and really went for it. They they it took a total team effort today. It wasn't just one person. It, it came down to, to everybody fighting for it and passing at the end. So um, couldn't be more proud of, of every single girl. The 2011 Women's Soccer Championships began on Wednesday with four exciting quarterfinal matches. In the opening quarterfinal, seven-seeded UTEP used two second-half goals from midfielder Katie Dorman to rally past second-seeded Colorado College 2-1. to one. In the second game of the day, six-seeded Rice rallied past three-seed SMU 2-1 to one in double overtime. The Owls became the second lower seed to earn a victory when Ashton Geisendorf slotted home the golden goal at the 102nd minute mark to the far post following a throw-in from the right touchline. In the third quarterfinal, fifth-seeded East Carolina knocked off four-seeded UCF. Kimmy Cummings shot from the right flank ricocheted off the left post and in as East Carolina opened the scoring in the 21st minute. ECU's second score came from Amanda Malkowitz in the 47th minute to go up 2-0. UCF scored in the 87th minute, but it wasn't enough to get past the Pirates as they advanced to the semifinals. And in the last quarterfinal game, Memphis needed overtime to preserve its unbeaten record, but rallied past number eight Tulsa 2-1 to one, to advance to the semifinals. Less than three minutes into the overtime period, Memphis's Natalia Gomez Junco combined with Melissa Smith on a 1-2 and angled the golden goal into the right side of the net. The 19th win establishes a new single season school record for Memphis. And after an exciting first round of women's soccer championships, here are your women's soccer season awards. Soccer Championship begins next week and UCF is a program that has been building in the five seasons under head coach Brian Cunningham. This year, the Knights will join five other teams to vie for the CUSA Championship title November 9th through the 13th in Tulsa. Right now, let's hear from UCF striker McCauley Tulloch and team captain Kevon George. It's been a very wonderful first year. I mean, it was expected because like, I'm a, I'm a guy of high expectations. I set like high expectations of myself and I tried to exceed that, so it wasn't a surprise. Goal scoring is what I was born to do, you know what I mean? And I'm just continuing doing that. When I'm out there, I just focus on 
helping my team, scoring goals. Like when I take that field, I believe I'm going to score. I don't think I'm going to score. I know I'm going to score. And that's my mentality on the field. And the, the main thing that really carrying us through, the, through right now is the togetherness the team have. Like we're a family. We fight for each other, we ride and we die for each other on the field. So whenever we take that field, we represent the youth safe on our chest. Like we play, we play with pride. You know what I mean? And I think that's basically what carrying us through. It means everything. I mean, it's all confidence, you know? Um, I mean, we've came from nothing to actually being something right now. And, you know, we're getting a lot of recognition for it. Um, it only grows and bleeds through the team, confidence-wise. So it's, it's a good thing. I mean, I just play for, I mean, for the team, you know, the people that, that's been there from the first year, the couple of us, and just, you know, the program, because we, we have really came from nothing. And I think it all goes to the program, the UCF soccer program. So, you know, that's the, it's the prize, that's the, the pedestal. It's the conference championship. Um, I believe we can do it. And that'll be the icing of the cake for me for my senior season. Now be sure to catch all of the 2011 COSA Men's Soccer Championships next week right here on the COSA Digital Network. And that's all for Hyphen Nation this week. Everyone have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Digital Network.